Welcome back to Star Sector, folks. We are heading up to Castrum to see if we can get a battle carrier or another battleship. It would also work. And then we are heading home, I think. To just check things out a bit. Actually, Vengeance uh, Fleet Level 1. Mission over, okay. Um, hmm. Let's just quickly check. Colony threats. There are none. Alright. I like that. So let's head up to Castrum. And check out what they have. We're going around this way. Our volcanic world. Invasion of the ORA. Uh, that's not no. Uh, that's not uh, Rafa Kale's system. up here somewhere so we're gonna have to fly through this cloud hope to not hit any storms we didn't okay we are heading to Castrum 54,000 in income very nice right, let's sell all of that We'll keep the transport tonics. We'll keep all the weapons and stuff. We'll fill up on some fuel. We'll keep the high value prisoners. All right, what do we have here? Barris class combat freighter blueprint. Nah, don't want to buy that. Sulfan prototype, local soother, mod spec. Uh, Develop for fleets where bringing uh, Sarah's Vela is not logistically possible. This experimental device creates a tiny bubble of stable null space around the ship, improving the performance of the ship's null space conduits drastically. Hmm. Also increases the ship's burn level by one. You know what? I'll buy that. Okay. Let's have a look at ships. Buy. Open market, nothing. So from R&D military, there is another Sirs Vala, which I wouldn't mind getting. And there's another battleship. And the Repl Replekia class. Now, hardened armor reducing damage taken by 90% for two seconds. It has Omni Shield, uh, one medium synergy, three large energy, four small synergy, five small energy, one fighter bay, and it has some built in the QHPD lasers and an infill Cosmo fighter wing. And it has a glitch sensor array, which sucks. Hmm. I might get this Sirius Vala. I think I will get it. And maybe this Mariana fuel thing as well. 2500 fuel capacity.
quite defense drones as well. Though I would never take it into battle. You know what? How much cargo can you take? 1,800. Alright, we're buying you. And we're buying you. Uh, you. Alright. You come up here next to that. You can just stay down here. You can come up here. Just there, maybe. This is a heavy standard cruiser. We'll come up there for now. Right, we're going to head home and uh, outfit all this. We're not going to do it here. Uh, but let's see. We do not have enough. Ooh, ah, we do. Um, Just buy 400 more crew and some supplies. Okay. Oh, and we will learn that. All right. That was a pretty good haul of ships. With another uh, first Vala class and this uh, 2500 fuel capacity guy. And one thing I will do let's see, you have a maximum burn of eight, you have a maximum burn of six. So I will get you out with a militarized subsystem. You know what, let's just do that. Medium energy. Don't know that I want Give you anything else, really? Micro Beamer. Okay. So you are all kitted out with point defense. So we don't have to worry about you when we get home. Just have the three other ships that need to be kitted out. Fine. All right. Let's open the com directory. There are no actually listen to the storyteller. Major class battle star. Take note. Right. Let's leave. Let's see, where is this? It's up here. But we have no idea what else is there, and the Battle Star sign sounds kind of terrifying, doesn't it? So before we do anything, we are. Let's just head down to the Persian League here and see what do they have. Ah. Wanna scan me, do you? Well then scan. Why can't I do anything here?
they're neutral. But I can't trade, okay. Never mind then. Actually, we might as well just lay in a course for Odin. That's where we're going. We're going straight through this cloud, apparently. Small remnant thing there. Nothing to worry about. So many clouds between here and there. Well, I suppose we will get them all. All the storms. Do these guys want to fight? No. Don't blame them. And there we are, we're home. All right, storage. Uh, I'll actually store that as well. Store all of our weapons. Quite a few. Still a few lines left of weapons and uh, fighter. Things, all right. There we go. Look at all of the stuff that we have in here. It's insane. All right, I don't care. Fleet. I don't know. Refit. Let's start from the bottom. You. You have a civilian grade, grade hull, but. We're still doing okay for speed, right? Yeah, eight, right? Medium hybrid. Uh, let's get a couple of hypervelocity drivers in there. Then we'll get some Point defense of some kind. First PD laser. The medium missile. Uh, okay. Hmm. It doesn't say if it's. Guided or not. Which is annoying. The rise of four average yields following missiles designed to avoid point defense systems and directional shields. Mm, on the bolt. Hmm. Hang on, I'll take a thunderbolt on there. And then we'll give you some. All right, that's fine. Okay, that's you outfitted. And it's you. Strip you. Uh, 
Hmm, uh, let's see, because you have... So you need a integrate targeting unit. Okay, let's start with some point defense. We we'll have point defense there, 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 and there, and there, and there. So six point defense. What do we have for point defense? We have a couple of first PD lasers, PD beamers. We have 14 of them. Well, let's do PD beamers. And we'll put that there, 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 and there. All right. So that's all the point defense. Actually, these two should probably be point defense as well. So let's not make these two point defense. Uh, point defense. Twin canister flank. Lacy horn warp projector. Dual flat cannons. We'll do dual flat cannons. There. Okay. Medium missile, medium missile, medium universal. I think we'll do Hellriders. Up here we'll do a Is this medium? It's medium. I think we'll do the hypervelocity driver. Looks like there's something there, but there isn't. We have one, two, four oh, hybrid, hybrid, and then a bunch of two energies and some ballistics. Okay. Uh, let's see, what do we have with a decent range? Tactical lasers. Mm. Alright. And I suppose we could put tack lasers on there as well. And then we could do light needlers. Rail guns. But they are much shorter range. Monogram rail guns. Yeah. Okay. That's all fitted out. Uh, let's make sure we get some stuff on here. Could do this. Uh, this is fine, and then we'll add a flux um, distributor, and that takes us up. Okay, so that's that kitted out. And then we have this beauty. And I actually kind of like the way it's fitted out. So if we say that 
custom thing. And then we will use the custom thing. If we have everything, we did. Light XMR, no, we didn't. Uh, light plasma driver, we're missing a large a light plasma driver and disavowals apparently, which was changed to burst. That's fine. Uh, but instead of the radiant dawn emitter was turned into a paladin PD system. No, thank you. Uh, I need to might actually we have an auto pulse laser there here we have the just pulse beam I want range so if we want to put that high intensity laser there And then we do that. The trebuchet needs 28. We have the large yes there, 800. This is a thousand. Tactical lasers are a thousand. We have Atropos there. Is it Atropos we have here? Yes. We have sabos there, we have sabos there. Alright, so if we stick that trebuchet on there. I think that'll work. We have a trebuchet, our LRM launcher, we have the high intensity laser with a range of a thousand. We have the La Chesse pulse beam with a range of 800. I think that'll, that's okay. Then we have anti small craft. Um, 144, 75, all right. Anti small craft is fine. Yes. No, I want point defense. And I want a long range PD laser. I think. No, I want the Custos Defender. I need two more points. Gives me six. Okay, that works for me, and that is everything fitted out and ready to go. Let's set up the weapons groups. Uh, find the high intensity laser. Trebuchet is fine. I'm never going to fly this. I'm never going to fly this. 
so it's fine let's see we have enough crew more than enough crew that's good let's just lower these up again and let's fill up on fuel at the front 105,000 well, we can carry a lot of fuel and I think we'll get 300 extra supplies it leaves us with 758,000 there's 35 days left until that is done uh, growth incentives let's just fill that up leaves us with 722,000 and then we'll uh, maybe I am actually thinking that it might be nice to set up a new colony so we have Odin there with farmland and ores and organics this is 250 percent I don't really want that scattered ruins trace volatiles volatiles is good uh, but I'd really like abundant rare ore deposits and it also has abundant volatiles that's where we're going Hundred and seventy five percent, that's fine. Uh, so Alpha Dnieper to B, a cryovolcanic world. Okay. Ah. Where is Alpha Dnieper to B? Oh, it's right there. It is right there, right next to Odin. That's actually convenient. I don't remember what we need to set up a colony other than we need a mercenary officer. Let's just check him out. Steady. Thanks for helping me gunnery implants. Offer to hire her. Sounds good. All right, new lieutenant. Um, Right, we need a thousand crew. We need to hire like just hire five hundred more. Takes us up to enough. And then do we need any of this? I don't remember. I'll bring it just in case. All right. Let's head down here. And this will be uh, hmm. Well, since it's right next door, let's call it Freya. All right. We have Odin and we have Freya. Very nice. I uh, guess I can't do any of this yet, can I? Yeah. First thing that's going up is a way station and then orbital station, I guess. All right, we'll give you some growth incentives. 
and we'll allow you to use the stockpiles. And I guess we'll give you that. Alrighty. Now, what are we doing next? What do we have for missions and stuff? We don't have any colony threats. Bounties. One path base up there. Personal bounty on Kim Ball. Grand Battlestar, Battle Cruiser. That could be doable. That seems dangerous. This is definitely doable. Oh, we have a bounty right here. With seven days remaining. Will we be able to do that? We're gonna try uh, uh, with the Dwarf Primary Star Baron World with the Dwarf Primary Star Primary Star Red Dwarf. So oh, it's this one. 5.9 days. Baron World. Same course. Right. We're gonna try and do that. Go, go. We are going to save. <clears throat> and in the next one, we will go in and fight her. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.